I'm Steve. And I'm Tim. Welcome to another episode, a very special episode of Christian, Christian Crafternoon. Noon. A very special episode of Christian Crafternoon. What? That's my I'm line! Oh, hi, what? Bev. What is going on? Um. Oh, it's Tim Gunn. It is. It is. It's so the Tim Gunn. He was at Bible Camp in Branson, too? You fellowshiped with Tim Gunn? Not exactly. Exactly. This was in New York at his apartment. I, I know. I, I told a little white lie that I was going to Bible camp in Branson, but I actually went to New York and I got to meet my little Tim Gunn. Oh. Aren't you excited? Oh, I'm glad your dreams are coming true. Oh. You, you I, Here, look. Me. I brought you something from New York. Oh. Look. Oh. Here. A souvenir. I heart and why. I, 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 <laughs> I would know because I don't know if I heart and why because oh. I wasn't there. Oh. Uh, is this is like a... A shot glass? Uh, well... And then I chase it? Is that how that works? No, it's actually a wine glass I got in Times Square. I just oh. thought you could drink a little bit less. Oh, oh no, no. I'll just re-pour every ten seconds. Thank oh, you. You're welcome, Bev. But, but you. really, it was so exciting. I know you're angry, but I would love it if you would sit in front of the computer and watch. It's great. He, he really did look at my smack. It's I my dream like come true. Come on, come on. Look at him. Take a look. He's so adorable. Oh, you're, you're gonna feel so good about this. You'll just completely forget about me lying to you. Here we go. So thrilled my viewers will know how much I've been trying to get Tim Gunn to come on the show. Welcome to Christian Crafternoon, Mr. Gunn. Thank you very much, Steve, and welcome to my apartment, where we're having Christian Crafternoon this yes. afternoon. Well, thank you for letting me in, although it required well, a legal agreement. I'm, I'm glad it, it all got worked and out. And I called my but... lawyers and... I'm delighted yes. you're here because I'm a big fan. Well, I thank have to say, you. I really am. Thank you. And I only regret that you're not here with Bev. Oh, I know. That's mean. And Bev, to you, <laughs> I know I said I was at Bible you Camp in Branson. Kiss. But what? I really? Is that yes. what you told Bev? I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I did. I told her. And because... you knew all along you were coming to New York? Well, yes. Um, Liar. Bev, I feel your pain. <laughs> yes. Um, you this a lot? Feels my pain. I think. Tim likes you better than me, Bev. But anyway, um, well, you're very different. she'll understand once she sees that I get to meet my idol, Tim Gunn. And I hope she'll understand anyway. She's in Napa oh. having a few sips. Oh, good. And good, that's good, fabulous. Good, good. So maybe we'll drink a, a glass in her honor. We will, on. most okay. definitely. Sip away for us, Bev. I will sip away. We miss you, Bev. All right, so I wanted to start because this is my Tim Gun smack it. And this is the tool belt for crafters. And so let's explain first of all. Um, Mr. Gunn, I know Tim, that I've please. since you okay, have to call Tim. Me Tim. I mean, you sent me Thank a bunch you. of mannequin heads. You can at least call me Tim. Sorry about the mannequin heads. That was a little dicey, but let's but we're gonna put it behind us. I know that disturbed you and I apologize. It did, it did. I just needed something to place the smackets on. No. Anyway, um, there's other places they could have been placed. That's true. There were other well, ways to present the smackets. Anyway, go ahead. And I don't know if all of our viewers know, but I'm going to just tell you, Bev came up with the name smackets. Oh, it's a did? combination between a smock and a jacket. And so every time we went to Michael's or Joanne's, they only made crafting smocks for women. And so, of course, I wanted to make something a little more masculine. Well, it's very poncho-esque. Yes? Yeah. Oh, is that not good? Well, it's Are not, ponchos I mean, in? I'm very respectful of the name Smacket. I understand a smock and a jacket. At the same time, this is neither. This is oh. a poncho. Okay. So I think, Bev, we need you to work on a new name. Okay, Crunch I will. I um, know. We'll have to come up with a new name. Croncho! Um, yes, Croncho! And what's <laughs> nice is they're all Velcroed on. Well, I have to so, tell you, Steve, I was very alarmed when I first looked at this, thinking that these items that are, in fact, functional were merely, merely decorative. I'm quite impressed with the Velcro. No, I'm they quite are. impressed. They are. And I can actually get, you know, one of my glue sticks out and put it right in there. I've got a little holster here, and I've got my scissors whenever I I'm need impressed. it. So, Okay, so there's there's Smack at One. I've got lots to show you, Tim. That, that was my idea. Steve, tell him. That was my idea, the, the craft Smack It. Steve? 